Hey everybody, it's Aaron, and welcome back to the house of Aaron. <laughs> welcome back to the house where we talk news, celebrities, and hot topics. I'm excited to be with you guys on this Friday night. Um, happy Halloween to everybody at home. I know it's October 30th, but I just decided, you know, why not get the Halloween episode out of the way so if you guys do decide to go out for halloween this year make sure to bring your mask okay make sure to social distance and also make sure to stay safe all right so on this episode of house call we have a lot to go over okay a lot of you guys wanted me to come on and talk about miss portia williams and or tanya sam uh possibly being exposed because there is a clip in the season 13 trailer of what it looks like someone in a position all right so we're gonna get into it um latoya ali from atlanta is speaking out on why she did not get a peach okay it's pretty interesting and then we're gonna jump over to the west coast and talk about beverly hills housewife erica jane um and her fraudulent ass husband and how he's involved in another fraudulent case all right so we got a lot to go over if you guys like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to the youtube channel if you haven't already and let's get straight into the video let's talk about portia let's talk about tanya um you guys know that we talked about the season 13 trailer of real housewives uh yesterday right and it was really interesting okay i was really shocked and surprised at how interesting they made drew sedora look okay when she said i'm from chicago bitch, i just about fell out my damn seat all right now, the thing that I kind of glazed over is the clip where they show someone through a window, okay, through some blinds in a position. It kind of looks like it's two people in the bed, and in the background, they have like moaning sounds or whatever, okay? I'm not going to reenact the sounds. I mean, I could, but I just feel like that would be a bit inappropriate, um, but you guys can go back. I'll definitely link it. In the comments down below this is the picture that everyone is saying is portia and or tanya um having relations with the stripper and so i want to remind everyone that tanya has went to instagram to deny the rumors uh the stripper bolo went to instagram to deny the rumors the only person that has kind of left everything up in the air okay the odd man out is miss portia williams so we don't know what's true and what's not pertaining to her now whether you believe the male stripper and whether you believe tanya or not is kind of besides the point okay they're all going to say what they want to say but the point of the fact is if that's even how you say it <laughs> is that it does look like someone is in a sex position in this screenshot and we need to get to the bottom of it so well number one when i first watched the trailer i didn't even see this because there were so many flashes and so many you know choppy edited clips that it kind of just all was too fast to even catch that at first glance but once i realized what i was seeing um to me i just thought it was a bunch of smoke and mirrors okay and i'll tell you why because number one the audio okay y'all know that producers on reality television and you know every other show to ever be created is known to splice audio and video and make it seem like something that it's not all right so that was my first reaction um but my second reaction as i look at it more and more it does look like two people in the bed having sex okay with somebody in their legs up tr ready to get it in okay i'm not gonna even lie it do look like that and so i'm not gonna come on here and try to defend portia i'm not gonna come on here and try to defend tanya um but what i am gonna say is it does look suspect however just remember that not everything is really as it seems okay so we are going to i guess find out when the show actually airs let me know how you guys feel about that in the comments down below i know i'm gonna have a bunch of anger kenya fans once again in the comments because y'all be working on my last nerve but guess what i love it okay keep commenting now let's move on to miss latoya ali you guys know that she is the new girl on the block. Me, along with some other people, were highly disappointed to see that she did not have a peach for season 13. Well, of course, shout out to the house guests, okay? You guys are the real MVP. One of my house guests slid into my DMs to give me some tea on why LaToya doesn't have a peach and why she could possibly get one mid-season, all right? So 
I love my house guests, okay? And if you guys ever have any tier, any information that you wanna just send my way, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. It'll be down in the description box below and you can go ahead and send me a DM. So one of my house guests wrote on to Latoya's page and commented, why didn't they give you a peach? We thought for certain you would have been on the main cast. And then Latoya responded and said, I take it slow. All right. So I'm personally, okay, interpreting that as uh, number one, Latoya wants to become a housewife eventually. And number two, she might become a housewife eventually, right? And so my house guest went on to say in my DMs that it is possible that Latoya may join full-time mid-season. He says, I know that sounds bizarre, but it's been done before. Real Housewives of New York season three didn't have Sonia come on until episode seven. She wasn't even in the promo shoot, but by episode seven, she was in the show's intro, all right? So I just thought that I would relay that message to you guys um, because, you know, my house guest is making a really, really good point, especially, you know, corroborating with LaToya herself, talking about she takes it slow. Um, I do think it could be a possibility that she may become a housewife mid-season. Um, we do know that she made a really big splash, okay, on the scene when she first got on the show. We do know that she does have a lot of drama with a lot of people, okay? It's rumored that she got into it with Portia and Tanya and Drew Sedora, and the list probably goes on and on and on. So I think it's in Bravo's best interest to give LaToya a peach because I kind of feel like she's peach worthy. And we've had other housewives, okay, not have their husbands on the show and not have their kids on the show. Um, so I don't see what the big deal is. Just give LaToya the damn peach, all right? Let me know how you guys feel down below. Last but not least, I wanna get into Miss Erica Jane from Beverly Hills. You guys, she is involved in another fraudulent case or her husband is involved in another fraudulent case. So I got this information from All About The Tea and I'ma just paraphrase it, okay? I'ma try to break it down um, as best as possible. So. Listen up. A woman by the name of Judy lost her husband, okay? Her husband died back in 2018 due to a boating accident, all right? She filed a wrongful death lawsuit soon after um, and hired Erica Jane's husband, Mr. Girardi, uh, to represent her in the lawsuit, okay? The woman, Judy, okay, who lost her husband, ended up getting a settlement for the wrongful death of her husband and the settlement was for $500,000. Judy was originally supposed to get paid 296,000 of that 500,000, but only got 50K. Allegedly, uh, Mr. Girardi, Erica Jane's husband, raised his fee from 33% of her settlement to 40% of her settlement. Now, I'm not gonna really sit down here and add and subtract and do the multiplication of what this woman is owed, but based off of the chicken scratch that I'm cooking up in my head, it seems like she's owed a lot more than 50K, all right? She was originally supposed to get close to 300. So how do we go from 300K to 50K? Hmm, something in the buttermilk ain't clean, okay? It's a gnat that flew into the buttermilk. And now we need to throw the whole thing out and start all over because something isn't right. Now, you guys know that this isn't the first time, okay? Erica Jane's husband has been involved in some fraudulent cases. He got sued by another lawyer because they were working on a case together and one of the lawyers didn't get paid, but yet he did. So how in both of these cases, you know, Erica's husband is getting paid a lot more than he should, but yet the other party is getting paid a lot less than what they should. It's suspicious. And I hope in season 11 of Beverly Hills, Erica addresses it because at this point, the apple don't fall too far from the other tree, okay? Like your husband is looking like a fraud and you looking like a freak, okay? So we just gonna call y'all freak and fraud. Shout out to Miss Nene Leaks. all right? So definitely let me know how you guys feel about the Erica Jane case down in the comments below. Her husband is just looking like more of a fraud as the days go on. Um, do you guys want Latoya to become a full-time housewife? And do you think it's possible that she may become one mid-season? And then what's the verdict on this footage, okay? Is that Portia or Tanya in the footage having their way with the stripper? I don't know. I feel like to me, the evidence is inconclusive, but 
I guess we're gonna see as uh, the weeks go by. All right, so I'm gonna wrap it up right here. If you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up. Yes, I'm gonna do this hand gesture every time I feel like it. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys later on in another video. Bye, happy Halloween. Mwah.